Let's I'm see sorry, all those polygamous in nature, please. You tell a guy that you are polygamous in nature as a woman and see the if you're polygamous in nature as a man and polygamous in nature as a woman saw, to two I, polygamy people I meet, saw meet a each other. Woman. So um, I, I, I saw something on social media where the guy, after having two kids, he decides to marry his um, wife um, after five years, but decides that the wedding is not going to be, be big, just took her to church for them to exchange vows and took the family, people, close family to a restaurant to go and eat. Mm -hmm. And people are like bashing him that why did you deny your wife? A big wedding, you know, she deserves it. Who's that? That's the only thing. Hmm? Is it what I think it is? Huh? Yeah. Is it the same thing? Yeah. <laughs> they are bashing him. Like, well, don't you think she deserves a better wedding dress? Don't you think she deserves something good? After all the fact that you claim to be a good man to your woman. Mm. She has been a good woman. She has been patient. She has given you two kids. The least you can do is give her a better wedding dress a and a better wedding. wedding. A proper wedding. Mm -hmm. And then he's like, it's just going to be him and like other people. So when we said, I remember saying that two two years is the line for you to know if somebody's going to marry or not. How about when you started having kids for this person? Hmm. And you're uncertain if that wedding is going to happen. Imagine already having two children. Oh. It took him five years after two children to decide that, okay, it's time for us to go to the church. When you would have done that at first before giving her two children. So, like, at what point do you decide that you want to call off your relationship when you're already a baby mama? You're already a baby mama. I feel like when it comes to that particular topic, most, I can tell you this, most guys, most people that end up in that situation didn't just end up there. The mm. guy has already pre been pre-telling them. There are guys that will tell you straight up, like, you know, when you have, let's get to know each other very well and have one or two kids. Mm. Can I be telling me I should get to know each other very well and have one or two kids <laughs> before you marry me? You know, it some guys even say they need to be sure you can give birth. Yeah. yeah. I'm not worried now. I had a conversation on Saturday. I had a guy tell was, me that before. Was that that he's working. To <laughs> he wants to be sure if he can give birth. He wants to be sure my womb is working. My womb is working. My womb is intact. He literally, he literally called on public um, radio to say that um, his girlfriend walked away from him because he conditioned her that before they marry. She has like, to get pregnant. She needs to get pregnant. Man, and I'm yeah. like, what ha what happened to fertility fertility test? <laughs> what happened to you knowing that this person can actually get, get pregnant? Why do it was I like, forget all those hospital baby. things that they lie a lot. They can tell you the person is fertile. That is when you do the That's real a deal. That's irresponsible man. As so as how many science. women would you do the real deal with mm, before, you, before decide you now decide to, marry. to get married? Some people will be lucky enough to have their persons. Mm -hmm. but I've seen, I've had friends who, after first kid, second, even we were even skeptical, like, meet this guy, marry this guy, maybe mm. we'll be saying, don't waste, and the guy, yeah, but that's few people that actually get that little majority. Mm -hmm. Now, from there, they don't leave them. So, what is not the point? You now rule the person into lies. Yeah. Manipulation, because that's lies and manipulation. Again, now I guess my first piece of coffee, I know Nigerian men, they mm -hmm. say, we marry you with two children. Who <laughs> we marry you with? Yeah. I remember someone saying mm. on a podcast that once you have a, once you have a child as a woman is a red flag, and the guy was saying it. To Can you imagine? Bendy, what about as a man is not a red flag? I mean, he said I can never marry a single woman. Yeah, once, that once birth, you have a child, marry. is a red flag. I'm like you see that this men men generally stand on business. Is women? I feel like Always. women need to women raise need their need standards. To start, raise your mm -hmm. standard. If a man can tell you, a man will tell you how what he wants and what he can you should never also take. do the same and not see no amount of loving you will make him change his mind. Yes. So the moment you break it, it's done. I feel like women even compromise more too much than men. for too men much. than yeah. men do. Like men, if they've made up their mind about this, that's what they are gonna do. But women be like, but I love him. I, love I don't him. mind if he has two children. I can, I can take care of him. Like they are ready to be the mother to another to woman's child. You are not his mother. <laughs> the the lady, that, knows that you are that legit mother. ready. You should not put yourself in a mother because once you start that, even the relationship said will die because it is not a mother and son relationship. These are actually a partnership. Steps that to be a partnership. To that. Yeah, these are steps that sum up to the fact that. This are actual part of the reason why you should call off a relationship. If you guys don't see 
future or no date and now only beginning. <laughs> even as you're having conversations. <laughs> Even I yeah, like, sit sometimes down. pay attention. Pay Between attention when you are having serious mm-hmm. conversation with a guy. I'm not talking serious life situation. Yeah. Not just cruise and vibes. Serious life situation. Take listen to his side. Like what if he's even cruise opinion. and vibe. Now from joke. Now nah, joke is no not serious say, matter. Yeah. Even cruise and vibe. The way he go take reply yeah. to all those cruise and jokes. Yeah, people say, will say things that okay. just make you realize. So this that is how this you is feel. <laughs> yeah, and then that's enough reason to say you know what I don't think we can do this anymore. And, and I'm, for me personally, another big reason why I would say I'm going to cut off my long term relationship exactly. is when I'm a follower of Christ and you're not. Oh, yes, that's definitely at the top you of You hinder list. my relationship with, with God. God. As like, I feel like that's a whole thing. So I feel like women should also weigh their options, like weigh serious options and listen between the lines. Men, men jabber a lot. <laughs> Just set up conversations and you will see the way they fall into your pits. And that's enough reason why you get your reason and see the way they see light or shed light in a certain conversation. Long-term relationship is not do or die. It's okay to have a short-term relationship and it's worth it for the time you guys had it. You get mm-hmm. and the, Another thing, again, is you thinking long-term relationship equal long-term commitment. Yeah. It's not, I'm it not committed. Do you get like me dating you for three years does not mean you and I will ever does not get mean you are committed exactly. to me. Exactly. Do you get yes. like it does not mean we are honestly committed to each other. Serious commitment is knowing that mm-hmm. you and I were committed that we're going to get married, like what elevating from the whole cutting to um, marriage, um, fiance stage to marriage. Not when you're confused, when you're uncertain, when you're not sure that you're financially ready to even settle down, you're asking for commitment. You don't have mouths and commitment. <laughs> See, but if I'm getting married to you, commitment is a huge deal for me. Mm-hmm. Like, I'd rather not be committed. Do you mm. get like, but if we're not together and <laughs> you want Conde, my sister, <laughs> yeah, and I feel mm. like that's exactly what has been holding me back from fully giving my heart out because, yeah. um, uh, is is heartbreak is bad, though. Mm. Like, <sighs> oh, your heart is literally. See, see, the number one man <laughs> right now. The number one. Number one. Oh, please, let's not even get into this. <laughs> number one. Number one. Like, if, you, if I see that you can't commit. So, do you think a man saying I'm polygamous in nature is mm. enough reason for you to call off your... Yes. Like, bro, fuck off. Yes. No, fuck it's enough reason because we're all... But then our you life honesty, honesty is honesty important. Is important yeah, just hey, because... I'm not honest to my decision that. to leave you. Oh, yes. <laughs> Honestly, don't see people always get into it because I say I want somebody that is honest. It doesn't mean that when you yeah, are not honest, yeah, I will accept you. I will not accept you. Yeah, no, you. I will appreciate you. Let me know where I stand. Let me yeah. know what I want to do. Let me know that the decisions yeah. I Thank make you. with your honesty. Yes. Honesty I'm sorry, all those is... polygamous in nature, please. You tell a guy that you are polygamous in nature as a woman and see the if you are polygamous in nature as a man. <laughs> I'm polygamous in nature as a I woman. Saw, to two I, polygamy people meet each other. I saw a Kenya woman. She, she, she married three men. Never three men. She's in Kenya. Like she married three men. And everyone under <laughs> the comments, men, they were literally hating her. Like, why? Men, men will be hating on that because they can't fathom sharing women. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They cannot the fathom that thought. I saw one documentary recently. There's a woman, I don't even know what country she is. She has about five husbands. Mm. I'm like, man, you are living in life. Hey, she I mean, I'm not like, I would like to try she two husbands. She has the one that cleans house. She has the one that does everything. Like, that's the woman <laughs> in me. I said, I I would like to experience it. You know, just, I feel like, at the end of the day, but mm. one person cannot meet all your needs. So, mm-hmm. if I meet a polygamous man, I'll be like, do you want me to be, I, I can't be a polygamous man too. Let's be sharing each other. It's you like, woman. that's what you want. Woman. I can have two husbands, you two have two wives. Mm-hmm. I saw well, a post, I saw a post of a woman who she's like maybe she's she's an in she's in her late thirties, I believe, and she's married four times. She's mm-hmm. been married four times. Has she been married? <laughs> when did she start getting Thank married? You. That's a very good question. So she's had four divorces. She's single now because she, she just okay divorced her last one. She's looking for enough. husband number five. For what? Why is everybody doing? proposing to her? She's had, she has Why does like she keep saying kids. yes? And I'm like she seems she like wedding. <laughs> Because like, what, what happened in the previous marriage? Okay. After so two failed just, marriages, you should just say enough. I've read some four is a lot. Uh, four is a lot. So, my two failed marriages is enough for you to decide you're not going to get Yeah, Even what am I getting? Two failed marriages is enough for you to say. What about if the third marriage, if the third time is good for you? Third time is a child. Third time is a child. All right. Not in this case. You guys don't even know that marriage don't really benefit women like yeah, that. So we yeah. lose ourselves in marriage mm-hmm. a lot. Like people don't talk about how women completely 
like forget themselves the moment mm -hmm. they enter marriage because now it's all about the greater good your family mm -hmm. your children mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. you but don't come first as a wife in yeah. your marriage you don't come first. and i think we're so used to this selflessness um what's that say uh, mother, my mother did this. She went out of her way. <laughs> so now they've seen the role of women are suffering and sacrificing and sacrifice. Why? Suffer love <laughs> is what men like. They like when you suffer, when you are struggling. That struggle love is something I That hate struggle so much. shows that you love yeah, them. Yeah, you love them. I'm like, men, you, I'm not going to struggle with anyone. <laughs> I, <do that>. <laughs> I say, I'm going to be the woman, I'm going to be the wife that clubs while my husband is sleeping. 2 a.m. If my friend calls me, say, Alpha. Enter road. That's how baby. I'm outside. We outside. The girls that are winning now are the girls with the highest of standards. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Leave social media. Obviously, yeah. Obviously, they don't want whatever they like on social media. What Most of do, the men yeah, in the real life is very different. Mm -hmm. Very, very. Come on, I don't like it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't go and check his DNA. Now he's begging one body with all the money he's yeah. <laughs> to just, to see, just her. see him. So you now say you're this is your standard. I want to manage him. Let's push love, it together. Most like struggle love. So women just want your standard. to be the best. They want people to see them as the best, especially for society validation. Yeah. That you're the one enduring. You're the one tolerating. Yeah, hey, God forbid. You know, Again, so, religion permits that. I'm not religion a has a woman, huge no, role religion to play on that. To religion women. tells women yeah. to sit there, to accept whatever society, their husband throws at them. Society calls women like this. I want to say so. You're not peaceful. Society calls women like this strong women. Yeah. I am, I'm, I'm denying. I'm, 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 I'm not strong. I'm not strong. I'm not strong. I retire. Yeah. I'm and really, and it's not strength. It is anyway. full on weakness. It's opinion. very, very weak. Like, if you cannot weakness. step up and do whatever is best it's for not strength you personally, I'm sorry, you are weak. <laughs>